Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Day 3. Pray for his spiritual leadership. Fathers, do not expirate your children. Instead, bring them up in training and instruction of the Lord. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 4. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word, and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25 Now the overseer is to be above reproach, faithful to his wife, temperate, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not given to drunkenness, not violent but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. 1 Timothy chapter 3 verse 2 to 3 Prayer Father God, I ask that you help my husband to be the spiritual leader you have called him to be. I can't imagine the amount of pressure he may feel at times, or the burdens and weights he carries. But Lord, you are good to give in your yoke, which is easy and light. Remind him that you have called him for a purpose, and he can operate in your strength alone. I ask for specific prayer in his parenting, that you'll help him lead our children and train them up in righteousness. I ask that you help him fulfill his calling as a husband and love me as you loved the church Jesus. I ask that he be above reproach and seek after the qualities of a godly man. Thank you for him, Lord, and bless him. In Jesus' name, amen. Daily Generational Prayer of Blessing for you and your husband. May the Lord bless you and show himself real to you. May the Lord keep you and put a hedge of protection around you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and light your life with the fullness of his glorious character. May the Lord be gracious to you and show his saving power to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance on you and show how pleased he is with you. May the Lord give you his peace and bring you his wholeness. May you grow deeper in love with each passing day as you grow deeper in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. May your marriage fulfill the purpose that God intended it to. May you walk out the call of God on your lives individually as a couple. May your children, finances, and your endeavors be blessed by God and bring him glory and honor. May your marriage and home be a house of prayer, a house of worship, a house of joy, and a small heaven. This is my prayer for you and the generations to follow. In the strong and mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Amen.